Hi there, Robin here. Welcome to another Unforgettable Faces project, Painting of a Woman Traveling. With this video, I will give, the, give you the option of muting my voice and just reading the text, or hang out and listen to me ramble on, as if you and I were in the same room together and we were chatting. Lucky you. Anyway, the Unforgettable Faces project is one that makes me look inward as a human, but also as an artist. I don't always know why I do a painting. It might, it will be something like it was a look that I wanted to capture or an emotion or a color, but it will be something. And honestly, does it really matter what that thing was, but that it is or was? Yeah, I know that was really deep and ex existential or whatever, but honestly, it is what goes through my mind and everything or nothing does. In some of the text, you will see that at one point I fight with my confidence, that I might fail and that it's a huge fear for me. I feel like one day I'll wake up and I won't be able to paint again. One day I'll wake up and it will be gone. But that is an irrational fear for the most part. In every work I've ever done, there was a point where I've had that thought that, yep, this is it. I won't be able to do anymore. Sometimes it's just more like, this is a garbage direction, but you got to try a little more. I, in my mind, I say, just go with it. Just let it go. And this is my risk taker, my ADD talking. And it's the perseverance that is my OCD talking. Don't be fooled with this painting. It took lots and lots of hours to complete. The video editing makes things so much shorter and it kind of lies a little. But I want to share with you what goes on as I go down the rabbit hole during this time where I'm painting, where I'm letting it happen, where creation takes place. I think, I meditate, I ruminate of st on stuff, and then I try to let go of whatever. So sometimes I might be thinking about my personal life, but then I have to come back in the room and paint some more. So I often just try to let go of the painting. Be it, there may be hurdles that I have to come back to, to the painting for sure. I have to bring my ba brain back in the room. But as I paint, I can let my hand do its thing and let my mind let go to what's happening and go someplace else. It's a kind of a dichotomy, a, a fish swimming in two different directions. Sometimes I take an artist's risk and my brain has to come back to that room and it has to make some executive choices about usually stuff about the person. I want to think a little bit more invested in them. I want to think about the colors or the soul or what I'm trying to say with a painting. And sometimes I think, I don't know, oh boy. <laughs> to create good, good art, you have to try different things and see where it takes you. The brain must be engaged but and present, but not overly influential. You have to try to find the confidence to just try. After all, it's only just paper or canvas or wood or whatever you're working on or whatever I'm working on. And some that is art sometimes. Sometimes it's the perseverance. Sometimes it's also knowing when to give up. I don't do that that often. I don't let go that often in terms of giving up. I don't like making a habit of that because when I have persevered, even through that really hard time, I've ended up liking it. I'd rather make bad art than to have just stopped because there's always something you can learn as you go through the process. I can probably count on one hand how many times I've actually stopped and thrown it in the garbage. I mean, you should be able to feel free to do that, but for me, my learning really happens when I've made some big mistakes. As I said before, and many videos and so on, I'm OCD. And to go with that and my opposite side, I've got ADD. So I'm always in conflict, if you can imagine. But there is a gift from both of them. And I try to work with the gifts of that I have and try to mm, subdue some of the ones that I wouldn't call a gift. So here I go. I let my, spontane my spontaneity 
and where I rely on my gut, that is my ADD. But the OCD kicks in and it forces me to complete the journey that I've started. That I'm always thankful for as well. And that is why sometimes I have to let mentally leave the farm as I let both sides of those brain just hash it out and I just let the artwork do its thing. Often it feels like I'm just an observer and the body is creating. I'm not always using expensive tools, just my favorites. I don't like hoarding art supplies unless I know I'm going to use them. I often share or give stuff away. I'd, I, I don't think art hoarding is good for my brain. It's like mentally... Con, um,